The House has approved President Biden's $1.75 trillion Build Back Better spending bill with a vote of 220 to 213. One Democrat voted against it. So for us, it's about not just about legislation, it's about values and the values that this le uh, legislation represents for the people. The vote came early Friday morning following an eight and a half hour filibuster from minority leader Kevin McCarthy. It included musings on how baby carrots came to be, as well as some more legislative remarks. House Republicans will always fight for you, fight for your family, and fight for our country. With that, Madam Speaker, I yield back. During McCarthy's lengthy remarks, Republicans tweeted, hold the line, urging him to continue. Democrats, on the other hand, calling McCarthy a rambling fool and having a meltdown. The Build Back Better bill will now head to the Senate. The Build Back Better bill is passed. It's a reconciliation bill, so it only needs 50 votes to pass, but that means all Democrats must vote for it. Centrist Democrat Senators Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema haven't yet said if they'll vote for the bill, citing concerns with the cost. The nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office found it will add $367 billion to the deficit over the next 10 years. However, that doesn't include the extra money generated by increasing taxes on the very rich and corporations. The Treasury Department says that will be about $2 trillion. The Senate has said they want to vote on this by the end of the year. Straight from D.C., I'm Annie Anderson.